Hey everybody, I'm Scott. I'm Stephanie. And this is... Can You Play As A Girl? Where we talk about video games and drink. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie is a gamer and I am not. And she has opinions that she would like to share. And she has no idea what game I'm going to ask her about. Are you ready? I'm ready. And we do this channel because we like drinking and talking about video games. This is a good excuse to do both of those things. Amen to that. All right, one more. <laughs> Cheers. And we're going to talk about Boyfriend Dungeon. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't even have <laughs> I, I don't even have questions I'm going to ask. Tell me about Boyfriend Dungeon. So Boyfriend Dungeon is a dungeon crawler. Um, okay. I think it's... I think you could classify it as like a roguelite, uh, where each dungeon is randomly generated. You have to go through the dungeon several times to progress in the story. And <laughs> all of your weapons are also dateable characters. Um, I would say they're all boyfriends, but some of them are women or non-binary. Some of them are men. Um, but Boyfriend Dungeon is a very catchy title. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> So you get different weapons for each dungeon, and you date your weapons. Well, you can pick whichever weapon you want, but different dungeons will have, you know, like you'll come across like an epee, or you'll come across like a scimitar okay. in different dungeons. So can you play as a girl? Uh, you can. The character customization is pretty, like, what I remember of it is it's not super detailed. But you can like put on whatever you want to. It's a game that tries to be very inclusive, I think, gender wise. So is there because you have to date you can date, I presume that there is romance. There is a lot of romance in this game. Yes. And you can date all the characters. All your weapons. From what I remember, Go. without consequence. You know, sometimes you date more than one character and they get mad at you or like you can't, like you're locked into one person. From what I remember about this game, you can date anyone you want, and it's fine. You can date all of them. So, what's the point of the game other than dating everyone? Like, do you, are you trying to beat all the dungeons, and then, like, you beat the game? Like, kind of, what's the story? Do you need more than dating everyone? Isn't that sufficient for a video game? <laughs> <laughs> It's like that Barbie dream phone board game or whatever it was, where it was just about dating, dating cute guys. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day. And there you have it, Barbie dream phone. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's it. That's okay. it. That's the whole video. So you date people. <laughs> so who should play this game? No, no, no I'll, I'll answer your question. Yes. Um, so yes, it is a dungeon crawler, so it's kind of like Hades in a way that it's roguelite. Uh, you choose a weapon to go into a dungeon, you beat all the enemies, you get as far as you can, eventually you're going to die, and then you start over, but it progresses the story. Mm -hmm. Is the combat good? Like, is it, other than the, the romance, like, what's the gameplay like? Um, the combat's pretty okay. Uh, you know, since it is splitting itself with, like, a dating sim... It's not super intense combat. Like, it's not going to have the same level of complexity as Hades, for example. It's more simplistic. But, you know, it's a decent little challenge, you know. Um, it's not something that you can just kind of cut your way through with no problem. you got to bear down on it and, like, actually put some effort into it. A little bit. But and with roguelites, like, that always helps, yeah. you know, get you a little bit further. Yeah. Will you play it again? No. Mm -mm. Over it. Well, okay, so the issue, the thing with Boyfriend Tension is that it has a dating sim in it, but the dating sim is, like, a little too realistic to be fun. Okay. How so? So, like, um, so, like, the, the example that comes to mind is that there's this one guy that you can date, and, like, people will pop up and be like, Hey, this guy's an asshole. You should probably stay away from him. Like, and like, it's all mysterious and whatever. <laughs> and like, he's got a secret, like, whatever. And, and he'll come back and be like, you know, I just really, I'm so into you. Like, I know that I have this past, but like, all of, none of that matters to me now that I've met you. Oh, my Lord. And then, and then 
he really does screw you over. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this is a little too close to life. Like, okay, I, wow. I play video games for an escape, not to like actual, actually have real life drama. This is like a really <laughs> intense romance novel yeah. with combat. Wow. Yeah, I did not appreciate that. But luckily, like, um, luckily... I did go for another person. Um, I went for Isaac. Okay. Along with this guy. And I kind of, and I didn't like fall for all this guy's stuff. I just mm. like went long enough to see where the story was going to go. And then I backed out at the last minute. Uh -huh. um, so Isaac, though, is the person that I actually ended up with. Okay. Um, I only chose to romance him and the cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which, like, you're not really romancing the cat, obviously, but it's, like, an option for, like, arrow ace folks who don't want an actual romance but still want to develop some kind of relationship with a character. Okay. There's the cat. So, there, obviously. There's the cat. Obviously. Okay. Um, and so there was, like, you know, some traditionally, like, just cute romance, just sweet, whatever. But just a little too close to home. Yeah, and, like... The girl in it, too, like, has this weird, like, ex-boyfriend who keeps coming around and, like, being stalkery and weird. And I'm like, this is just a little too realistic. Like, I'm, <laughs> this isn't my escapism much, anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is just real-life drama coming into my video game. Yeah, world. no. Nope. <laughs> so who should play Boyfriend Dungeon? You know, I think it's worth a look. Um, especially if you are someone who doesn't often have representation in dating sims. You know, if you're tired of the same old, like, heterosexual romance, there's a lot of different options in Boyfriend Dungeon. You know, there are romanceable characters who are trans or non-binary. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what gender you are, you can romance anyone, which should be a default now, yeah. you know. When games come out and you still like, you know, if you're a girl, you can romance these people. If you're a guy, you can romance these people. It's still kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Except for Dragon Age, because they'll, you know, they have characters who are gay. They have characters who are straight. They have characters who are pan. Mm -hmm. And that's realistic. Yeah, that's nice. just like the hetero, like, you know, girls can only date guys. Guys can only date girls thing is a little old. Yeah. 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 So something inclusive with some combat mm -hmm. and a lot of drama. Yeah, there's a lot of drama. There's <laughs> like so much drama. I would have liked the game better. But it's it's kind of realistic, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you can laugh about it later. Okay. Final thoughts on Boyfriend Dungeon? It's a cute game. I think it's worth a peek. Just, you know, don't go into it thinking that you're necessarily going to get a happily ever after, depending on who you pick. Ooh. If that's really important to you, I would definitely look up some spoilers. Okay. There are some there are some happily ever afters and there are some jerks who are out to get you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> nope. All right, everybody. Thanks. If you enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.